Good morning all. Hope you all are well. Today's scripture is from Luke chapter 10 verses 38 to 41 at the home of Martha and Mary. It's a short one so I'll just read it. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do all the work myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered. You are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Holy Spirit, we ask you to dwell in us today. Open our ears so we can hear what you have to say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So Jesus is on the move. Are we prepared to open our doors to him? During these times, there is an expectation to stay indoors, shut the world out and isolate ourselves. The roads are less busy. There is a stillness about the place. It may appear that our way of life and future plans are on pause. For how long is uncertain and that is causing so much unrest. However, Jesus is on the way. His activities and promises are not and never will be on pause. There is no momentum that can ever be channeled strong enough to oppose or redirect the movement of Jesus Christ in your life. Travel may be prevented, events may be postponed, loved ones may be out of reach, but there is no force on earth that can ever separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus. Jesus is on the way, bypassing all the restrictions that have been imposed on us because his heart's desire is to be reunited with the ones he loves. Will you open your home and your heart to him today? He left the comforts of heaven just for you. He endured the torment of Calvary just for you. He cried out to his father in agony, but still drank the cup of our trespasses just for you. He died on the cross and bore a separation unlike anything mankind has ever experienced just for you. He went to the grave and came back just for you. Why then, brothers and sisters, do we entertain the notion, even for a moment, that he is not able to meet with us where we are today? Jesus is on the way. The bureaucracy, the restrictions, the politics, the civil unrest do not pose the same threats to him as they do to some of us. The earth is his footstool. And he walks unabated into our lives with the same mission he began from the beginning. To bring us into a deep, intimate relationship with himself. And the Bible says in Philippians 1 verse 6, Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. So take courage that Jesus is on the way today into the heart of your situation. Open the door to your heart and allow him access to roam freely and restore everything the enemy has rubbed from you this season. How do we begin to allow Jesus to restore the things that has been rubbed from us, whether it is our joy, our peace, our faith, our relationship with each other, or our relationship with him. When we open the door to Jesus, what kind of host do we become? Do we treat Jesus like we would a guest, making sure our home has all the bells and whistles that accompanies such a visit? Do we focus on the acts of service, dash into the kitchen to top up the drink, make sure the food hasn't burned, 
fussing as we try to bring all the household in order, watching the time lest we overrun. What to do next to show that we are a good host? Will such acts of service solely please the Lord of hosts? Oh, be still, my soul, for the Bible says that my sacrifice, O oh God, is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. You, God, will not despise. Jesus wants you and all of you, not reserving a part of you to be dedicated to a particular service. All of you must be in service to Jesus. And that service begins by sitting at the Lord's feet, listening to what he has to say to you. We spare many moments to listen to what is being said in the media, by our leaders, at conferences, by other people. And I understand the need to be informed and to learn. But when the omniscient God, the all-knowing, speaks like a royal proclamation, we must stop all our activities and listen. For the sake of our children, we must stop and listen. For the sake of our marriages, we must stop and listen. For the sake of our mental health, during these times, we must stop and listen. For the deliverance of this nation, we must stop and listen. And if we want to draw closer to the one capable and willing to restore us and elevate our faith, we must stop and listen. Jesus is no ordinary guest. To truly entertain him, we must be still and listen. There is a season for everything, a time to act and a time to wait. But in all seasons, we must find a time to relent on all activities that does not bring us to the feet of Jesus and listen. Verse 41 says that Martha was worried and upset about many things. Jesus knew that her actions or acts of service could not mask or bury the frustrations that were inside her. When we are hurting, frustrated, angry or just not having the best of times, leaning on acts of service as a solution will not alleviate our situation. We are just burying our problems in a shallow grave. When we find ourselves always serving, always on the go, and overcommitted through a genuine compulsion to please or serve, we need to remember the words of Jesus from verse 42. But few things are needed, or indeed only one. You cannot fall upon the solution to your problems through acts of service. You fall upon the solution when you sit at the feet of Jesus and listen. Stop and listen to the words of affirmation of his love for you. Open the door to your heart. Let Jesus in and stay a while, listening to the only voice that stands out above the rest. Find a time in the day and blot out everything. No call is more important. No task is more pressing. No chores takes a higher precedence. No person is more deserving of your love and everything in you that you have to give than your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Jesus says in Luke 14, verse 33, In the same way, those of you who do not give up everything you have cannot be my disciples. Today, start your discipleship at the feet of Jesus. Take your Bible and meditate on today's scripture. Ask God what he would have you do just for today. Listen to Jesus' response. He may well ask you to serve in a particular way, or he may just ask you to sit with him for a while. God bless you. For all those who may have never accepted Jesus into their hearts, as their Lord and Saviour, or to those who need to make a fresh commitment to Jesus, let us take this moment to acknowledge and accept 
that the only way to eternal life is through Jesus Christ. So please repeat those words after me. Lord Jesus Christ, I accept that I am a sinner, broken and fallen short of your standard. I know that I need a saviour. I believe that you, Jesus, came to the earth to die for my sins so that I will be saved. I believe that you rose again from the dead and have promised me eternal life. I believe that you are the way, the truth, the life, and the resurrection. Today, I accept you as my Lord and Saviour. Amen. If today is the first time you have made a commitment to accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, welcome to the family of Christ. God bless you all. Amen.